Yo guys, what's going on today and welcome back to a brand new type of video guys. These may be coming out quite a bit now. Obviously the FIFA um, 16 hype is upon us, so I'm going to get out some of the biggest upgrades in the VPL in my opinion that are going to come out. Followed by tomorrow the biggest downgrades of the BB, uh, BPL, followed by after that the biggest upgrades and downgrades of the BBVA. Start off here now with David De Gea. I don't know if he'll be on United, that is a big question you got to ask. Um, but I think he'll be 87 rated, 86 rated next year, something like that. Um, so yeah, definitely deserves an upgrade. Obviously had an amazing season at Manchester United, but that's obviously why he's got so much high fan and Real Madrid are wanting him that's why he isn't getting games at Man U currently but yeah we have Hector Bella in here this guy I don't know maybe I went a bit high on the rating but honestly he deserves that I don't think EA like to upgrade them so bigly in like one like I want my team in for worth it like Harry Kane I don't think will get the upgrade that I put but he deserves that definitely John Stones here once again another player that he's probably the best out in the centre back I mean you got Jaggy Elka with the same rating so why not um, something like that I don't know if he'll be rare probably not then we have Nathaniel Klein here in right back obviously a great season for Southampton and should excel himself at Liverpool now obviously um, been a bit of a bigger club now hopefully he'll perform he looks like an awesome player for so me being a Liverpool fan too then we have Alexis Sanchez here basically he carried Arsenal all year definitely deserves an upgrade to this at least probably like, he's on the same level as like Bale and whatever the way Bale's playing at the moment definitely better than Bale I'd rather have Bale in my um, subs bench if I had Sanchez or something like that. But yeah. Um, and then next we have Philippe Coutinho here. Obviously, Liverpool again. I'm not being biased, but let's be honest, he has been awesome recently. So yeah, definitely deserves an upgrade. I had two informers, I think, and the man of the match too, something like that. So yeah, definitely deserves an upgrade. Um, but yeah. Um, leave it up to you in the video comments as well, guys. Um, make sure you sub before any of And we got Francis Cockle in here as well. Another player that's played for Arsenal like this, like, came through. From being young at Arsenal, um, and just didn't really get an upgrade much really. I thought he'd get to a goal straight away, but yeah, he's been probably Arsenal's joint best CDM uh, with obviously um, Arteta probably. And then we got Pedro here now. I reckon he'll move to my new. So I thought he was a man new card. He's had a good season really, to be honest. Um, I reckon he deserves a plus one. Um, he's not an 83 rated player, put it that way. If you're putting on the same level as like Hunter Larce, he's definitely deserving of an 84. Sorry, but. It has to be said, doesn't it really? I don't know if you agree with me on that one. We have Harry Kane here now. He's got to be an 81. Come on, I mean, he's the second top scorer last year. He can't be anything lower than that. He's got to be at least an 81 rated player, in my opinion. Um, great kit, great season last year, and I hope he continues this year as well because he looks like England's best new striker. And then we have Christian Benteke here. Obviously, a great season at Villa. Uh, injured a lot, though, but I think he still deserves an upgrade nonetheless. I mean, when he has played, he's definitely proved himself to be a very good striker. Obviously, we had a 30 million price tag game from Liverpool. Um, bit of a Priced in my opinion there, but once again Liverpool love spending the money on overpriced strikers. Um, Andy Carroll. Then we have uh, Yannick Balassi here. Um, Crystal Palace is like Ronaldo, basically just constantly been good. Uh, he's not really had many bad games, if any, to be honest. I mean, I love watching him play as well. He's so skillful on the ball. Whatever, definitely deserves to keep his five star skills, and I'm sure he will. But at the end of the video, guys, if you have enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like. I'm sure I'll get lots of uh, difference of opinion, but yeah, make sure you comment down below. I'd like to hear what you say anyway, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.